Hey, USC Film School Applications! I'm so relaxed and totally not stressed out right now. Haha! <laughs> What's up, Mr. Culture Detective? Here investigating your favorite movies, and today it's February 14th, which means it's Valentine's Day. That's right. And of course, uh, ever since last year, I have been, you know, having a bit of a tradition in my YouTube channel where I talk about uh, very romantic, lovely movies on every Valentine's Day. Movies that warm your heart. Last year in 2022, I did a review on the movie Lars and the Real Girl, which is a very touching movie about the loving relationship between Ryan Gosling and a giant human figure. And today I will continue that tradition by talking about another very romantic movie and that is First Reformed, directed by Paul Schrader. So, yeah, I was struggling, you know, with, with you know, what movies I should review on this special occasion. You know, I, I was brainstorming. What should I review? Should I review, I don't know, Taxi Driver again, even though I've reviewed it already. Should I review Joker? Should I review Nightcrawler, uh, Fight Club? But these are also movies that I've seen before and I low-key want to watch a movie that I haven't seen to review this but because of obviously time constraints uh, you know what's going on <sighs> uh, applications um, I just don't really have the time to watch a new movie so instead I am just going to review a movie that I watched and rewatched, and that is First Reformed Yes, and yeah, Taxi Driver is great, but I feel like for me to review it, I will have to rewatch it like a few more times first. Uh, so that will be saved for maybe a few Valentine's days later, like maybe a couple years down the line. So this time around, let's talk about First Reformed, which is also written by the same guy who wrote Taxi Driver, by the way, Paul Schrader. He's amazing. So, um... Definitely check this out. Also check out his other films like Hardcore and Mishima A Life in Four Chapters, which I haven't seen, but uh, I'm really excited to see if I get the chance on a big screen. So anyways, First Reformed is a film about uh, Ethan Hawke's character, who is a pastor at a church in the middle of nowhere in uh, Midwest, in the Midwest, in the USA, I guess. And he slowly loses his faith in God and he starts questioning what the hell is he doing as a pastor when he started learning about how uh, the environment is slowly being destroyed by big corporations and how um, his son has passed away in the war and he's grappling with guilt and that's basically the whole movie. Yes, very romantic. First of all, Ethan Hawke's performance is amazing. Um, it's it's a crime that he's not nominated for an Oscar. Uh, not really a crime, more like A24 didn't campaign hard enough, nor do they have to. I mean, who cares about the Oscars nowadays, right? Um, but uh, yeah, Ethan Hawke's performance is amazing. Uh, truly one of the best performances of 2017, in my opinion, his distraught, uh, panicky, performance is just such a central part of the film. Needless to say, I love the framing and composition of the film. I love the narrower cinematography, which is very Bergman-esque, which I will mention again a little later. And I love the framing and composition in general because a lot of the shots in this film are still. So you really, really have to consider the lines and shapes of what's being shown on the screen and the frame and it's really well done in this film and also I love the deep focus I hate it when directors abuse shallow depth of field Ooh, f2.8 f1.4 f2 wow it's so cool um, but that's just using shallow depth of field to hide the fact that you can't light your subject or you, you can't build a set or something. That's actually not very good. So I have a huge amount of respect for directors who use deep focus, who use deep depths of field, especially on First Reformed. 
And uh, what I love the most about this film is, of course, how it slowly builds to madness. The main character, Ethan Hawke's character, slowly loses his sanity throughout the whole film. And I just love movies like that. Again, Taxi Driver is kind of like that. Uh, and Joker, which is heavily inspired by Taxi Driver, also tries to do that, albeit not as subtly as I would have liked. Um, and this film does it very, very well. Every single event that leads, that builds up to Ethan Hawke's breakdown in the film is actually very believable and could literally happen to any pastor out there or literally anyone like somebody around you must you know every everyone knows someone in their lives who are very environmentally conscious and everyone at some point has probably encountered someone in their lives who are suicidal and um Put that and that together and then slowly back that up with the context that the main character is a pastor and he's dealing with themes of the world ending, our world being destroyed, backed up by his own faith. Is this what God wanted? Is this what God wanted me to do? And so his slow descent to madness is really believable and really gradual and really beautiful as well. Obviously, this film is heavily inspired by Ingmar Bergman's Winter Light. If you don't know who Ingmar Bergman is, what the hell are you doing? Uh, he is one of the greatest filmmakers of all times. And uh, he's also really well known for making religious films, films that touch on faith and religion. Seventh Seal, Through a Glass Darkly, and then here with Winter Light. Now, I haven't seen Winter Light, but um, I also look forward to it a lot. And yeah, a lot of people may not like this movie because it's basically depression porn, but I feel like this is the perfect antithesis to the super happy, sugary, escapist films that uh, a lot of uh, Hollywood provides. And... Yeah, I like depression porn. I, I love myself some sad, slow, depressing movies. So yeah, this film is really good. It's really rewatchable as well. It's a heavy one, but uh, it's definitely something that's gonna stick to your mind. And the ending. The ending is another one of those endings that's left up for interpretation. And it's well done. I'd say it's pretty well done. And I'm giving First Reformed a light nine out of 10. So have you watched First Reformed? Comments below, let me know. Like you like it and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching. Uh, I'm actually also watching The Menu, which is a movie that came out last year. I'll be reviewing it ASAP once I get this whole application thing done. And uh, happy Valentine's Day, y'all. If you're lonely, just like me, give me a high five through the screen. And if you have a romantic partner, don't. Thank you. <laughs>